So Sarah is excited. I am excited. She's very excited. You know why? Ooh, ah, uh, it's right. glowing. Can you? you can it see. is glowing. And here we have it: the T-Mobile G2, fresh out of the store. Just got it today. I'm very excited about it. You can see my old my touch over there, and uh, getting ready to transfer everything over to this G2. So. This is the unboxing and um, a beautiful ritual. So I'm taking off the cover here and just going to show you guys step by step what it's like to unveil one of these beasts of a phone. So here it is, the T-Mobile G2. And before we get into what all is involved in that device, here's all what it comes with. It's got a start guide there. And inside the box you'll have a wall charger. You can connect that wall charger um, using this USB to... Um, I'm not actually sure what the other side of it is. I thought it was USB mini, but found out today that it actually isn't. So um, you can use that to connect into the phone, get power, and connect into your computer as well. And then here are the headphones for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top of the G2. So here's the beautiful device, large screen, um, <clears throat> got the touch capacitive buttons here on the bottom for home menu, back and search, optical trackball with a button push there, and then on the left hand side you have your volume rocker up and down, pretty easy to maneuver, you've got um, the jack there for power and data transfer to the computer, and here on the right hand side you have your camera button. Um, dedicated camera button which is great you can take pictures sideways like this which is perfect and um, you also have your release for the back side of this phone which I will show you in a second um, on the inside here's the LED flash here's a five millimeter uh, five megapixel camera it's a beautiful camera it does seven um, 720p HD video which is great and on the top you've got the on, on switch on button and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So as you open up here on the back, you see um, this battery, the HTC battery. You've got the SIM card input there and then just below the battery, I'm not going to take it out right now, but just below the battery there's a um, 8 gigabyte micro SD card which is awesome to have all of that storage coming right in with the phone. So then you open the phone up, um, you get the keyboard here on the bottom, it's a great QWERTY keyboard, um, has a plastic overlay on it which I'll take off in a moment, it has three quick buttons that you can designate to do whatever actions you want, and um, I hear that it's a great keyboard so I can't wait to try it out myself. So you've got here the back cover of the G2, about to release, and take off this battery from the top move that plastic and here's my old sim card I just took out of my uh, my touch so I'm gonna get it up in here kinda goes in the other way this time battery fits in nicely and that's all there is to it so here it goes booting it up Beautiful. And it's up. It's quick. So I'm going to be doing my uh, all of my Google account stuff. Um, it's pretty easy to, to set it all up with your Google account once you know your username and password. All you have to do is, you know, I'm going to put mine in and um, it'll load all of my calendar stuff that I had on this MyTouch without me having to do any sort of migration over. Um, it'll load all of my voicemails that I might have had in Google Voice. It'll have all my email in there, so it's pretty easy to do. So now I'm just zooming along. This is so easy to move along compared to what I had on my MyTouch. Um, very responsive. It's got the um, applications there. It comes with lots of built-in Google applications. Um, that came pre-installed in the phone. I don't tend to love pre-installed apps in the phone already 
that are not of your choosing, but they're all pretty good apps and I probably would have ended up getting them anyways. Um, but this is pretty much a good pure um, Android Froyo 2.2 experience uh, compared to the Samsung Vibrant where you'll get the TouchWiz interface or a lot of the other HTC phones have uh, Sense UI, you've got Motorola, Moto Blur, and all of that um, in in my experience and everything that I've read as well just s serves to slow down the phone. So this is really uh, exciting to just see plain old Google Android on here. So that's what you got when you see the G2 in all its glory from the box to turning it on. Am I going to make an appearance on your website? Maybe. Just by saying that, you probably will. <laughs>